Go away from me. I don't like this hiding spot. I'm very exposed here. He comes back. Don't do it. Yep, he's right there. He's right there. My only hope is to do this weird little maneuver. This is my only hope. 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 What? That worked? Uh, that takes like a plasma torch or something. Or, oh, I can hack that door. Oh, we're back here. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Go away, tail. Get you, get you, get you. Yes, go. Open, 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 open. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's coming. I got it. Yeah. Here. Okay, okay. Yes, we got the plasma torch, dude. Perfect. Dude, that unlocks so much things. That, like, unlocks everything. Hello and welcome back to Alien Isolation. Today we are going to be playing episode like 12 by this point. I don't want to go into whatever was on previously on because you just saw what was on previous on. Go check out the community tab if you want to. Uh, interesting stuff over there. And uh, last but not least, let's just start this up. And while I start this up, now I'm going to go on to... I know I just said we're not going to talk about the previous gun, but... Um, I, uh, you know, uh, while we load into this, so last time we, the main thing we got was the plasma torch. That was the biggest thing I would say that we got, because now that allows us to go to a whole, we pretty much can't go, if we can't go to a place, it's via either no power or something. There is no tool that we don't have to get somewhere, pretty much, unless it's like another upgrade to the hack tool. But anyways... Um, now we have the plasma torch, so that opens up a whole realm of possibilities to do. And I've already mentioned about doing a video on possibly stuff we'll do afterward, um, after we trap the alien, hopefully, cross your fingers, after we trap the alien in Gemini Labs. Then we can go around the entire map looking for, um, areas that we couldn't with the plasma torch and all that jazz. I don't know why I said it like that. And the save point was here, and I died, so I'm gonna have to catch back up. Oh, and last time we met this person. I don't know her name, I don't know who she is, but she's nice and she's not wanting to kill us. She needs to find a better hiding spot, I agree, but... But I kind of wish I could sit around and talk with her a bit more, but, you know... I guess I'll just be going on my way. So, I'm gonna go catch back up to where we were, and I'll see you then. Whoa, whoa, there's a vent. Whoa! Calm down! Hide, 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 hide. Okay, don't go looking in here. There's nothing in here. There's nothing. Keep going. Dude. Um. I'm just trying to get back to where I was. And I wasn't even looking on the radar too much. I was just relaxed, taking it chill. So, you know, I'm not really paying attention. And I'm, like, grabbing stuff. And my radar thing, he's right. I was, if I got in this locker, like, a millisecond later, he would have had his spine tail through my stomach by this point holy cow uh we read this thing last time i'm pretty sure and i'm pretty sure there was a code in it not that i remember what said code is but gosh i can't see anything i have to actually use my light i haven't used my light in forever okay so let's go down to this hallway this is where the android is there's a vent right there on the roof i don't know if the android is not going to like this place and I don't know if I necessarily want to open that door, because I actually might want to keep the alien, give him limited options. I like, let me figure out if you want to kill me. Hello. How you doing? Okay, so you don't want to kill me, so that's great. Uh, let's see, what's in this terminal? We can open the door also to our right to create a flank. Anyways, supplies are surplus to requirements. Um, power budgets, the distribution department is surplus and to requirements and will be decommissioned shortly. We will be reducing the power budget to the area in due course as it is required. Oh, okay, so you're mad if I'm here for a while. Okay, that makes no sense, but whatever. 
So, wait, so you're mad now. So, do I... So... Okay. So, when he says, I will be with you shortly, he literally means he's going to try to be with us shortly. And how how long does this last? I'm not even running. I'm walking. Dude, I don't have the time here. Get off me. 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 Oh, you just killed me. Okay. Yeah, that I was kind of screwed there anyway. Oh, my gosh. I'm actually having trouble here. Okay, well, I'll see you when I get back there. So, we're going to access the terminal, and we're going to try to be quick about this. All right, so, uh, this talks about how they had an excess of supplies. Uh, re... Sure, we'll do that. Whatever that means, we'll do it. Oh, you're right there. Okay, hello. You don't see anything. Oh, there's a ladder there. That's weird. I thought that was a vent. Okay. That's actually kind of intriguing. I might... I kind of want to climb up the ladder, but then again... The alien's also right there, so I kind of don't. So I'm going to go this way. Uh, we can also do the service requests. Maintenance check request in sector C12. Received and confirmed. A service caretaker is on its way. So maybe that draws over this guy. And the alien's down. Put this down. We don't want them hearing my BB. Unidentified species. Oh, you see the shadow. I, dude, I can't see anything. If he gets me now, I'm actually going to jump. Because I can't see anything. Is he gone? He's over there. Hello there. Dude, look at that dude. He's just staring at me in the darkness. No, there's a door there. We can go. I'm going to go through that first because I really don't want to go up the ladder, man. Okay, yeah, we don't have to go up the ladder. This seems important. No vent there. Sorry if that was blurry. I'm kind of freaking out here, man. What is this? It's like a maintenance shaft? That's weird. I haven't seen that before. I don't know if we're supposed to... Whoa. Uh, I was about to say, I don't know if we're supposed to be going here, but there's a vent there. So we know that. This seems like a very important place. Like, it's big... And that's kind of what's telling me it's important, honestly. Um, the aliens running around. No hostiles nearby either. I don't know how that's possible, considering the aliens. Sounds like he's right next to me. I accidentally clicked no. Now there's hostiles nearby. Okay. We're all good. Okay, so this seems like a big place, so that seems like where I'm supposed to go. So I'm going to go toward the maintenance shaft and see what this entails. Anything here... Tons of stuff that we can't really do anything. Whoa. I mean, that looks a little bit ominous, don't you think? All right, so let me just get a lay of the map. So that's where that is. That's where that is. So we have to... Oh my gosh, we have two objectives. Trigger the analysis lab breaker, breaker switch and then trigger the decontamination room breaker switch. We just got to bring the facility online so that we can then trap the creature. The alien is over there. I'm listening for footsteps. He's in the vent. That's how good the sound design is for this game, by the way. Is you can just you can you know where the alien is based on the sounds that you hear. It's it's really cool, actually. And but you know that's also kind of what makes the game very terrifying is the sounds. You know he's in the vent. That's good. Yes, you've located him. But the sounds he makes while in the vent are just terrifying. And then when he jumps out of the vent, you know you either have to hide or you're dead. And it's horrible. <laughs> Right. This is just such big of a room. I feel like something big is going to go down here. But, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I have tons of items. I'm ready. Energy flow require... I Yeah, something big is going down here. This is requiring, like, breaker resets. So we're coming back to this room. And I'm seeing lots of androids in this room. And, you know... So let's, let's, get, let's get a little land. We have two vents there in front of each door. A vent there, a vent there, uh, uh, okay, yeah, there's a lot of vents here and that does not, okay, I guess we're going up the ladder though because, well, that's really all we can go, so I'm gonna save the game real quick, oh wait, this is an event, I was picturing a vent for some reason, gosh, this map is huge, okay, let's see, what's in here, still good, alien's not even nearby, so we have plenty of time to just kind of explore this place,
Hide. One. Plasma torch. Bruh. Ion torch upgrade required. Okay, so remember when I was like, oh, passcode required. I thought I had the passcode. 8897, right? He's, he's, he's chilling around here. Is there a vent in this room? Of course there is. There's not a room that doesn't have a big open vent without a cover on it. There's just not. Yep, he is right there. There we go. I gotta keep a listen out, though, for um, him scrummaging around. Sit tight. Uh, we're going to have to find a new way to get the goods in the Sevastopol. Waits has a commercial cargo under the security at the moment, and he's checking the ambulance shuttles. Tell your man outside to sit tight for now. I know a guy called Sinclair who could help us. I remember when the marshals actually held the deal with the right crew. With the with real crime rather than harassing businessmen and screwing their deals. Okay, uh, Gemini shut down, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate many upset. Something about a code two seven something three. The alien though is somewhere. That is definitely. He's down. He is down. He's back for, right back up. He's mad. Did you hear that? He's like, he was screaming. He was mad at something. Something made him mad. I don't know. Maybe he woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Did I just hear a footstep? Yeah, he's down again. Dude, he's like popping up and down this vent like like a like a uh 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 sunflower from plants and zombies. Plants versus zombies. Gosh, that whole thing was and he's down again. Don't come in here. He's in here. He's in here. He's in here. Oh, you saw the tail whip. I thought he got me for a second. I thought he got me for a second. He looked... Is he down again? He's down again. Holy cow, this guy is flying around. Make up your mind, Mr. Zeno. I've been sitting here for like five minutes. And he's just sitting above me. What are you doing up there? Like, what are you doing up there, man? And he keeps trying... I think he's trying to stop to... To lure me out of my hiding spot so that I go read the code. But he's sitting right above the vent. I could probably look up there with my light and see his little mouth. But, anyways. Yeah, uh, probably gonna be five more minutes later. Um, uh, 2743. For the security code locker. He's back up. He's back up. He's down again. Dude, what is this guy uh, on about? The Xenomorph is super active today. I don't know why. You know, maybe maybe he's, like, missing out on a meal. Maybe he's just hangry or something. But, like... You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfied. He's mad. Some, look at him. He's storming off again. Got it, got it, got it, got it. 2743. Got it. Boom. It was really risky because the Xeno is very jumpy today, but I still got it. All right, what do we got in here? Just a bunch of, just just a bunch of stuff. So I mean, th th that's great and all. I need stuff, but I need to turn on the power. That's what I need to do. Aliens right above that vent there. I gotta turn this camera off. Hopefully, this access rewire can do that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Boot up a little faster. Camera feed, perfect. I don't know what the unstable system does. D does. I don't know what the unstable system does. Because it's it's it doesn't sound like it does anything good. Like, it sounds like it just does bad things. So I've been reluctant to go turning it on. But, you know, maybe when I have a good save point one time, I, pr I should just try it out and just see, see what all the unstableness is about. But anyways. Oh, this is the breaker. Okay, I just happened to cross that. I just happened to look behind me. Cool. One down. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Progress. Am I... Oh. Oh. Dude. I, mean, I hate the vents. Just period. That, I mean, that's... That's just a fact. I don't like the vents. Anyways. Okay, so I gotta go all the way over here to turn down that breaker switch. Which I don't think is gonna be this way. I feel like I should go in there because I feel like it's important. Oh! This feels important. So why am I here? Why am I here? Crouch. OK. 
Okay. I thought that was someone important there. Tag. Search. Search. Okay. Can go up there. Use lever. I'm using it. I don't know what I'm doing, but it seems important. Xeno's over there. Where am I? Okay. Uh, climb. I guess we're. I guess we're climbing. Wait, is this gonna lead back to that room? Cause if so, then I'm gonna be con. Oh, we're here! I know where we are. And so does this android. But the main thing is we're here. Okay, so now we can actually... That actually kind of works out in our favor. So we can go right back to where we were going to go to. Does that make any sense? Me, uh, what, what did they say? Give me a break. break here. When did that camera become a thing? Okay, maybe turning on, like, the breaker or something made that camera become a thing. So I'm going to turn this camera off, hopefully, with this rewire system. Oh, these rewire systems are so nice, mainly when it comes to cameras and that. Because I can't, like, blow them up or anything. Uh, camera feed, done. Uh, see, there's the unstable system again. I don't know what it does. And I don't really want to find out, necessarily. I'm going to grab the map, and then we're going to make our way in here. So we're making our way to the unstable system, and the alien is actually nowhere to be found. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. I, I say that right as I get a ping. A bingy ding. So the alien's over there. I should probably turn off my light now. Here. See, that is why you check your map. Because that would have taken me way too long to find. There we go. I'm leaving that area, just in case that was loud. Initialize the something. All right, so this is probably where crap is going to hit the fan. You got to do what you got to do. And I'm actually going to take the shortcut by heading into this vent, which should be a shortcut if I can get into it. See, now who's climbing through the vents, Mr. Alien? Now who's the one sneaking up? Actually, I probably am not sneaking up on you, but still. Now who's the one who's, you know, being all sneaky through the vents? Me. All right. Sorry for the amazing commentary right there. But I had to find a hiding spot. This is the best I could find. Any amount of time I felt I was given. He's over there. Right now I'm listening for when he goes up into the vent. There it is. There it is. There's the vent sound. That's him. He's venting. That's him venting. Listen again. And you hear the very heavy footsteps. Luckily, this guy sounds like he's wearing steel-toed boots when he's walking around. Like, him walking around sounds like... Uh... I'm not trying to bash on your movement skills. I'm just trying to compliment you. Okay, yep, right above me, right above me. Very active today. Is he down? If he's down, I'm dead. Don't come down. Don't come down. Don't come down. If you come down, if you come down, I'm suing you. I'm suing you if you come down. Why can't I go back any further? I'm stuck in a I'm stuck in a corner, dude. I'm stuck in a corner. Right, there's no one else around. Hostiles nearby. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. Please, 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 please. Oh okay. Okay. We're good. I mean, you know, in the fact that we have a save point, everything else is really bad right now, but ignoring that. I'm scared. Listen for when he jumps down. I'm gonna go in this terminal. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Distribution control service request. All right, so that's a service request that will call an Android. Initialize, di sure, do that. That's gonna call the alien. I gotta run, I gotta do something. The end's definitely coming for that, right? Ain't no way he's not. I mean, maybe I was wrong. So I could call a service request, and maybe that would do something. Holy cow! Holy cow! Not now. Not now. Not now. Frickin' back off, you frickin' bozo. Frickin' bozo. I mean, if that was gonna happen at any point, it was good to happen now, because... Alien? Xeno? Stay away. Please. Service request. Ah. Hello, mister. I need you to do something. Yeah, progress. Yeah, definitely. Can you type up uh, something there? Please wait. Yep, yep. 
Haha! -ha! There we go. It's doing something now. Now I think I have to press those levers that are around it. I'm not lost. I am stabilizing the energy flow. That's what I'm doing. Get pulled down. I think there's a second one, I think. Whoa, what is that? That's like lava. Dude, that's kind of sick. I don't know what it what it does or how it works, but it's it's cool. That's it. Elevators online, Ripley. Nice. Dude, I don't know what that was, but it's cool. I'm hearing lots of noises, and I just remembered the Xeno is still a thing. Speaking of which, Xeno's right above this. Dude, what is going on? Right, let me just save real quick. Hostile's like right behind me, but whatever. Okay. So, um, here's my conundrum. The Xeno just jumped down from a vent. What could go wrong? Okay, you saw him glitch a little through the thing, the thing, that's fine, whatever, as long as you didn't find me, I don't care. He jumped down, took a look around, didn't see me, I'm out of here. Fine by me, good in my book. Okay, so now where am I going, necessarily? I need to go back here. Oh, so I need to go back to the lobby and open the door and yeah, I, need, I know where I'm going. <gasps> okay, the Xeno can come in here. I didn't think there was a vent in there. Gosh, I gotta just start thinking there's vents everywhere by this point. Am I here? Oh, he's down. He's down. That's footsteps. I thought he was in the vent. Dude. You can see him through that little crack right there. Okay. He's going that way. Turn it off. Turn it off. Gotta admit, it was really cool to see that animation of him just jumping up into the vent. But very terrifying. Turn it off. Turn it off. He could easily just saw me while he was like crouching down there, but anyways. Yeah, and another thing I gotta pride this game on is the animation of the alien. The animation of that Xeno is phenomenal. It's, it's very scary just the way he walks and the, the way he just does things and the way he moves. It's spooky. It's spooky. This you're really still here? Doesn't feel right, does it? No, it, it really doesn't. And you're here now. Now I gotta turn you off. Alright, what's over here? We now have this, so we can use the plasma torch on this. So, you know, if we can, why not? So let's go ahead and do it. This is not like an escape pod? That's not a vent. What is this? The Xeno's running around, but this looks like an escape pod. Which is kind of weird. Considering I thought they were all gone, but then maybe it's not an escape pod. Maybe it's just a, like a maintenance pod or something. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to take a gander down here. I don't know how long this episode is going to be because, well, I spent a lot of time getting around the Xeno. Speaking of which, oh, there's an elevator here. I thought the elevator had a vent in it for a second. I was about to go crazy. All right, so what am I doing down here? So I'm supposed to take the freight elevator down, but, you know, I kind of want to loot first, but I want to see what's in here. Um, you know, I, I, I don't think I want to see what's in there. My curiosity does, you know, take over. And I do kind of want to see if there's any secrets or something. So that leads up to the Gemini reception. Um, what is in here? I saw a maintenance shaft, so I'm gonna go into it. Wait, no, I saw, I see a button. What? Call a freight. Do I want to call a freight? I don't know if I want to call a freight. Ooh, that's why I want to call the freight. So that I can clear that maintenance tunnel up. Freight goes down there, and I can go this way. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. So now we're over here, where it's less smoky, foggy, however you want to call it. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I... I well, like, I know where I should be going, so it's it's nothing against the game. I'm just, like, kind of wandering around, exploring. Like, what's in the depot area? This leads upstairs? Wait, what? Is this going to connect to something I know? Or is this all new? Gosh. I thought, I didn't know. I well, I'm supposed to be going downstairs right now. But this is, like, extensive. Oh, so we're back here. Okay. Can I use the plasma torch on this? Sure, why not? I can, so why not? I feel like I should have saved. So I've been doing a lot. What's in here now? 
This leads down- Oh, this leads down to this front reception desk! Oh, okay. I know where I am. And we have a computer here which we'll read and I think that will- No! The alien killed her! Oh, Crap! I liked her! Dang it! Oh, I- I'm sad! I wish I could have, like, told her to go into a high a better hiding spot. Okay, so now he wants to come into the reception room. What, it's a new room that I unlocked for you? You want to explore it or something? Surprise, mo- Okay, he does. Please tell me there's a vent in here. You'll never hear me say that again. But, okay, never mind. You, no need for a vent if he's just gonna leave. I was hoping he was gonna vent or something. But he's just leaving. I want to read that freaking terminal and then that will wrap up the episode. Speaking of listening, I hear his footsteps again. Oh, he's right there. Oh, crap. I don't think he would look in here specifically. But I don't think I can be on the terminal without him being sus and seeing me. He is. He's coming in. He's coming in. I don't have a great hiding spot. Keep that tail away from me. That's actually what I'm scared about when hiding under the desks. Is his tail like flinging over and hitting me. And then he's going to be like, what just hit my tail? And he's going to go and get, and then he's going to eat me twice. Because, you know, m mouth inside the mouth. What am I supposed to do? I want to read, but you're not allowing me to read game. Hello Come there. on here. You're staring at me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Did you see that? I thought he found me. He like looked straight at me for like a solid second. You saw that, right? Like what the heck, man? What is this? What is KG348? KG348 is a Hoven gas giant situated mean distance of 6.2 astronomical units from the heart of the system. Initial cloud, its cloud layers are a rare mix of metallic gases. To exploit the potential of this resource, we are proud to announce the research project spearheaded by Gemini Exploit Solutions. Uh, Gemini Exploit Manifesto. Um, be bold, learn, adapt, live. Life is change. We grow by adapting and evolving to meet each other's new challenges. At to meet each new challenge, whatever. At Gemini Exoplanet Solutions, we take the Mother Nature's blueprint as our starting point by breaking new ground by finding new applications and the alien is coming back by finding new applications for existing technologies fuel resource and building materials weapon development advanced agricultural growth space exploration is applied to surgical procedures look around you'll never know what might be useful okay so that's interesting and i'll explain my thought process once i get a save point so i gotta go focus mode real quick be right back Yes, so here is what I think about that KG, I already forgot the number, sequence. So, Project KG, which is actually our objective right now, is the the KG Ford something, whatever. That's the name of the planet I think we're orbiting around right now. And that is what Gemini Labs is basically researching. They're researching that planet to see if we can use any of its resources or nature of the planet. Um, to see if we can use that to our benefit, to see if we can get anything from it, and that such. So that's what Gemini Labs was focused on, and that's what this project we're talking about is. So, because if I go to here, it'll say, take the lift to Project KG348. KG348 is the planet we're circling right now in Sevastopol. So Project KG348 is the project of trying to figure out, basically how best we can use that planet to advance technologies and, and whatnot. Uh, but we, but our main goal is not to advance technologies and whatnot, it's to restore access to distribution inside Gemini Exoplanet Solutions. Once inside, locate the freight elevator and take it to Project KG for it, what, it numbers. And we are at the end of that little sentence there. We are just take, we just gotta take the elevator there. I don't know how long this episode is going to last because it actually took me quite a while to get past the alien. Because the alien 
was, you know, he, he was really active this this today for some reason. He was like jumping down and then like you walk to the next vent over and then you jump right back up and then he would like zip around and jump right. And there was that weird spot where he was just like right above me constantly. I don't know. He was acting weird today, but we got past him. And and so so now we've pretty much gained access. We turned on the power to Gemini Labs and now we got to get down to Project KG whatever number sequence. And from there, hopefully be able to trap the alien somehow, some way, in some shape or form. And that's kind of all we got right now. It's kind of a simple objective, but it's just, it's simple in its nature, but really, really hard to achieve because the alien doesn't want to be trapped. He wants to kill me. That is going to be it for this episode, and I'm hoping you're having a good day. And support the video if you want to, and I, I'll see you on the next one, in Isolation episode 12, which would be the next, no, this is 12. I don't know, man. Just have a good day.